The Chicken Butt books came about because when my kids were little, um, my, older, my older daughter in particular was in a preschool, and there was a rule that when you were eating, you had to be sitting down. And so one day I came to pick her up, and she was having a snack, and she was sitting, and then I noticed that all the kids in the room were going like this with their chairs, and were sort of scooching their chairs from side to side, trying to get a reaction, and trying to see, you know, I'm sitting, I'm not breaking the rule, but what if I'm sitting and I'm moving my chair? Like, where's the line? And that experience, I made a little note to myself, and I started thinking about it, and I started thinking, there's, there's a story here about how a kid's job really is to figure out what the rule is and then to try to figure out their way around it. And I started thinking about just the silliness of the whole, of making jokes with, with someone, just the whole, you know what, chicken butt, which for me is just a, an old silly thing that you say that makes, not, makes no sense, and, but you can riff it out for a while. And I started playing with it and thinking about kind of what happens if, you, if a kid tries to continue a joke past the point of a, chi of a parent's patience, which is something I hadn't really seen in a book before. And the other thing that I wanted to create was a situation in which there's satisfaction for the child. So I knew at the onset of that book that the kid was going to win. And so, <laughs> because think about, think about it, in so many situations, kids don't win. You know, ultimately, they have to go to bed, or ultimately, they have to leave the playground. It's pretty satisfying to have a book in which, at the end of the book, you win. You pulled one over. You got the last laugh. And so I wanted to give that to kids who were reading it, give that, them that satisfaction.